Auburn territory. Don't take a negative play. Especially the way this offense is built. You can't overcome those things. Coffee on the draw. There's Blackman again. You go when he hits you. Because when he hits you, you go backwards. I mean, he is just a guy who loves contact and loves that straight ahead, head on collision. Here he is right here. Watch him meet the back right here and watch Glenn Coffee go backwards. Now, some guys shy away from this kind of hit. Trey Blackman lives for it. He runs right through Balker. You can take his name and his number off. So no time to panic for Alabama with all three of those timeouts. Can they take advantage? Glenn Coffey is the tailback. Wilson throws underneath and got it to his backup tight end, Travis McCall, but he can't go anywhere because Blackman is there. Now, if I, that's a play John Parker Wilson. First to open up their passing game. Third down, Coffey. Hitting the backfield, dies for it, and did not make it. He was stoned right there, outside the goal line. Trey Blackman, the middle linebacker, got penetration. It's fourth down. He is a big-time hitter. He's not overly big as a middle linebacker. Six feet tall, 220 pounds, but when he hits you straight ahead, you go backwards. I mean, he does not slow down when he tackles. What do you down to 31. Coffee, nice move. And Coffee's down to 24 yard line. Game of 7. Four-year linebacker scores. Blackman can bring him down. And for Alabama, the, the best place to run the football is... Auburn showing blitz. The toss to Coffee and Blackman shot the gap and made the tackle. This kid's an athlete, isn't he? Sure is. Really is. Been bothered by a bad ankle most of the year. We saw him last year, too. And he was, when he wasn't injured, he was always a huge factor in the ballgame. Third and 